How did you enter the United States? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. We're having a lot of fun with our Immigration Answers show. We're live four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On Mondays and Thursdays, we're at 1 Central, and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we're at 4 Central. And if you watch that show, if you see me interviewing immigrants and sort of trying to get to the nut of what their immigration question is, one of the very first questions that I ask them is, how did you enter the United States? This is really important. It's important for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons is because it can really determine what immigration benefits you are eligible for in the future. There's a huge distinction in immigration law between those who were inspected and those who entered without inspection. Now, you'll hear the phrase illegal immigrants thrown around all the time, but we don't use loaded language like that. We don't believe that anyone is illegal. The proper legal term is that they entered without inspection. And when you enter without inspection, in other words, if you snuck into the United States, if you came across the border, either either from Canada or from Mexico, if you entered without inspection, that's going to limit the types of immigrant benefits that are available to you, or at the very least, make it a whole lot more complicated and a whole lot um, more expensive. So that's why one of the first questions I ask people when they call the show, or even when I'm consulting with a potential client, how did you enter? The other thing that's really important is that the uh, USCIS has really spent a lot of time building up their systems and they can tap into how you entered. In other words, they can really verify and check how people entered the United States. They can see how did they get their visit visa. They can actually see the recordings of your interactions with consular officials. They can see what you put in your DS-160. They can see what reasons you gave for coming into the United States. So your entry is more important than ever. They are bringing this up at subsequent green card interviews. They're bringing up even at citizenship interviews. So it's almost like they found this new way to screw with people. And that is by going back to look at their entry. So in other words, we've had people tell us, well, I'm coming to the United States for a conference. That's what they told the state department. But in fact, they come and they don't even go to the conference or they'll say, I'm coming to Miami to visit my family, but in reality, they go to Seattle to visit their lover. So entry is really important and entry can cause lots of problems down the line. And you might think, oh, that happened years ago. Nothing's going to come back and bite me. No, no, no. This is what they're doing right now. We're seeing it more and more that they go back and they look at how did you enter? What did you tell the customs official when you came through? So, you know, there are a lot of interactions that people have with government before entering the United States if they've entered with inspection. And that's all fair game now. That's something that they're going back to research, to check, to see whether or not you entered for valid reasons, whether or not the reasons you said you were entering were valid. And then of course, the flip side of entry is, did you leave on time? So if you have problems with an entry, or if you did not leave after a valid entry, this can cause other legal problems. So entry is a super important concept. Don't minimize it. Don't think that just because it was so long ago that it's not going to come back and get you. You need to make sure that you try to remember everything that happened when you got your visit visa, when you came to the United States, when you came through customs. These are all little checkpoints that can trip you up in subsequent green card and naturalization interviews. If you have questions about this, give us a call 314-961-8200. You can email us info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that you join us on that Immigration Answer show that I mentioned at the top of the video. And if you want to join us, uh, just make sure to subscribe to that channel or to join us in that Facebook group, and you'll get all the information. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.